Hello everyone, my name is Miss Scarlet Tinager and I'm back with a new Let's Play. Everybody wanted me to play this game, I decided to play Mass Effect 2, but it just so happened that I needed two games to play, so I'm going to play Portal 2 as well. Portal was my first Let's Play I did on this channel. Well, first one that's still in existence, and I think it was the first one to begin with. We had a lot of glitches with that one, but now I've got a much better setup. We've got our lovely trusty computer, Shepard. And we're gonna play ourselves as some portal. Now let's take a look at the options to make sure everything is hunky dory. Full screen. Alrighty then. Headphones, sound quality high. Close enable, close captioning. Uh, fine. You guys can have your subtitles! This game is also going to be blind. I have no snippets and I know, like, the gist of things that happen. Never played it, though. Single player. Here we go. Hi there, GLaDOS. You're looking a little bit worse for wear today. How are you doing? Besides being a little bit worse for wear. I would apologize for everything I put you through in Portal 1. You did kind of try and kill me, but you did say you were still alive, so... Truce? <laughs> Maybe? A little bit of a truce? Just a please don't kill me kind of a truce? It's loading to your oh, There we go. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. Let me go, please. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. I'm not looking at the floor. Don't! I'm not gonna listen to you! No. I'm looking at the floor. I don't want it. I'm looking at the floor. Fine! Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Up at the ceiling. <laughs> oh, fine. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. Seriously, I looked up and down. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. Okay. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. This is when you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. <laughs> if you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Aww. Hey! Good. Now I'm please return to your bed. Fine. This guy's kind of a jerk face. It's a little bit of a jerk face. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. Nine, nine, nine. Hello? Anyone Hello? in there? Subject hi. The Hello? Ah. Hello? Oh, oh hi. God, God, you look te um, good. Looking Excuse good, actually. me? Are you okay? Are, are you... Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please slow. prepare recover? for emergency evacuation. What stay you calm, do? Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all I'm saying. Prepare. It's all fine. All right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. What did you do? Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. Closet. Oh, that's not good. Why All right, down the there. Can you hear me? Hello? Kind of. I can kind of hear him. Hi there. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not How out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. How can you but have don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Yes. Okay. What you're doing ah. there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. 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 Okay. You know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. Oh, that's close enough. <laughs> All Wait, reactor wait, core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Um, what? Um, 
No. Okay, no. look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. You know what to say. How are you doing down there? You're still holding on? Not very well. The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation centre stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Okay. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. I'm trying. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Because you're not the smartest one. Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? But not enough space. Uh, uh, not just, enough space. Just got to get through here. Okay, I just okay. got to concentrate. You're, you're not very good and at this, are you? And whose do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Everybody's oh, no, I hear that one. I hear that one. Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. What did you do, Okay, Weasley? almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. Okay. I, I think is this a is a docking gun? station. Get ready. Uh, no, 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 it's a bad idea, Weasley, it's a bad idea. I'm Good here. news, that is not a docking station. No. So there's one mystery solved. No, uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. No, 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 Hold no, on. No, 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 no. I'm still in Almost here. there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Hello, and again, welcome Hi. to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. That's a hell of a wake-up call. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency uh, testing uh, will begin uh, in three, two, one. I'm a girly girl. I've got a friend. His name is Aperture Clipboard. Come on, Mr. Clipboard. Let's go have some fun. Oh, this is for the first day. remains an important tool for science, even uh, in a dire bye -bye. emergency. If cube and button-based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. Twice? Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science oh, material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. Will it vaporize me? Well, it did that time, but... You never know with these things. Aperture laboratories. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your uh, head. Oh, what? But how could I hear this? That means I go deaf. I remember this, kind of. It's been a long time. Oh. Okay. Buff! Oh. Um. Click. Um. I need that box. <laughs> Great puzzle games. Okay, oh that opens there. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, no. I need this. And then that's open. So I can grab this. Take my friend the companion cube with me. Buff! Oh. Buff! Oh. Um. I don't know how it works, I guess. I thought I could break that wall. Apparently not. Apparently I need to drop through the ceiling first. And then the last one! Dunk! 
Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, uh, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering the relaxation bad. vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Hey! When society has been rebuilt! Um... I don't think Aperture Science is going to exist at that point. In fact, I'm pretty sure I'm the only organic life form within a couple, like, hundred miles, possibly. Maybe, maybe a little bit more than that. I doubt it's anything less. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body animal that king. either refuses to, or is incapable of... <laughs> <this nature. laughs> That's adorable. Oh, it died. Okay. I keep thinking I can break it when it's all shattered. Hey! You made it! Oh, hi there! Hi, Wheatley! There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. Okay. I can't see it, though. Uh, oh, balls. This, this, is, this is bad. This is bad. Hello? Wheatley, this is bad. Can you see the portal gun? No! Also, are you alive? If that's important. Should have asked that first. Yes, yes, you should have. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. Okay. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. Alright? Brilliant. Sure, that sounds like Do a good you idea. Know, if you're not dead. Let's not be dead, okay, thanks. Whee. Why is there a portal here? Also, why is the portal gun here? Also, I have a portal gun. Uh, go, go through the door shell. Shell. Shell? Shell or shell? I don't know. It's one of the two. What's it? Some emergency testing may oh, require hey. prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots. Ah. To share. To share. Well, I don't think they were very successful. Oh, good. It switched. Good. Well, that was easy. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note oh, it on good, your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. So much paperwork. We don't need any paperwork. Let's just not... Paperwork sounds like, you know, paperwork and being very tedious and something that I don't want to do, so... No paperwork. I don't see how they'd be able to get a hold of paperwork or any after science employees, considering that I am indeed the only organic life form around. Unless you want to read This next test around. is very he dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Smooth jazz. I like the smooth jazz. Okay, number four. These are all. These are all of the ones from the first game, aren't they? Okay. And then I go over here, and then I grab this, and then I go down here. Oh, there's two of them then. Oh, right, of course. I need you. I need you. Because apparently I need you. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are um, speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, I wanted to do a per I wanted to do a big old portal. Aw, sad face. A forever a portal. Fall for years and days and months and long times. Unreason. Okay. How about we have reason instead of unreason? Because unreason seems like a thing that we shouldn't have because unreason leads to death. Why? Because I said that. Whee! This is going by pretty quick. I'm probably going to eat those words because I think this game is longer than the first one. But, um, oh well. 
Aperture Laboratories. If the Enrichment Center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Right here. Whee! Oh. Now I want to go this way. Oh, this is going to take some effort. Okay, I need to go over there. But I also need to get up there. There's the... Uh oh. Well, balls! Um. What happens if I hit this? Okay, can I hit it again? Oh, I made the other one vanish! Oh, well, I see what I need it for now! Maybe if I... Ah, there we go! Thought I could get that a little bit easier than I thought I could. Wait, thought I could get... I don't know. Don't pay attention to me! I haven't debated this. Oh, I need that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And then it drops. Boom. Oh. Maybe I should click all the buttons first. That didn't work very well. Ha! Ah, success! Now I go get this, and then we should be able to get uh, the hell out of at least this particular room, and into another puzzle. Because it's a video game, of course we have puzzles. Well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. That's going to become important later, and y'all see why. Also, not very comforting to know that I'm the only organic being around, and my only friends are a bunch of artificial intelligences. And by friends, I mean turrets, and by turrets, I mean things that want to kill me. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. Okay. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, <laughs> God help you. <laughs> God help you. Okay. Um. Beep. Wait a minute. I can't do that. Oh no. Oh no. Here we go! Whee! Bonk. Um. That didn't work as well as I wanted it to. Oh well. Oh. Um. That works. I need you. Whee! That was not very hard. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. Well, I don't think I like this future very much. It's all overgrown and broken and stuff. Um. I think I want to go this way. Yes? Yes! Okay. Okay. Now I want this to be... Um, over there. Maybe. Possibly? Me! Ah! Well, there goes my face and I broke my nose and everything else. It kind of hurts. 
look very nice. Oh well, we've done this puzzle. Oh uh, wait, no, I haven't done this puzzle. Good work there getting go. this far, future starter. Oh, that thank said, you. if you are simple minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please <laughs> return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. You're a jerk face. This announcer guy is kind of a jerk face. But I've got a portal gun, and we need to start thinking with portals, because we're playing Portal 2 and it's literally in the name. To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. Wait, the what? Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. But you're not gonna address those concerns, are you? Okay, that's about the end of this episode anyway. My name is Miss Gartenager, and I've been playing some people too. I'll see you all in the next